Hi, hello, welcome to today's makeup declutter. Today I am going to decluttering my blushes, which I guess you could see if you are reading this title. Uh, correction, blush and bronzer. The light, I know you love it. Just tell me you love it. I hate it too. <laughs> I can't decide if we should do bronzer or blushes first. What do you think? I hope I fixed the light a little bit. If I didn't, so sorry. This is the way it's gonna be. I think we're gonna start off with bronzers first. And I have all my makeup here. I have all my bronzers, except for one that I always keep at work. I think you have probably seen it once, like two years ago, and then never again. It is just a Makeup Revolution bronzer that is like a bronzer and a highlight and powder in one. Anyway, that's not neither here nor there. Let's hop into the collection and decluttering part. I'm gonna start off in no particular order, but here. I have this on the side here. I think you might be able to see it. This is an obvious key for me. I'm so sorry. I'm 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 bouncing. I'm I'm boink, boinking. <laughs> I'm put. You know what I mean. I'm accidentally accidentally hitting the camera. I'm so sorry. This is the Anastasia Cream Bronzer in the shade Golden Bronze golden tan i mean and this is probably my favorite cream bronzer in the history of cream bronzers did you know that i finished up a milk makeup bronzer full size yes ma'am did you know that i finished up the elf cream contour the anastasia cream contour palette the beauty uk bronzer stick twice and the beauty uk bronzer palette cream bronzer palette i am great at finishing up creams but it's gonna be tricky nowadays when i have so many it's not gonna be easy but fantastic bronzer love it will keep for show while we're at it let's hop into this one this is the chanel le beige cream bronzer in the shade Universal. This I don't love as much. It is a little bit sheerer and a little bit more orange. But I am keeping her because uh, I paid a lot of money for her and I like it. I like it. And I especially think that I'm going to enjoy it way more now that winter is coming. Are you getting sick and tired of that joke? Because I am. Then we have a cream bronzer here from Nude Sticks. This is one of their uh, bronzer sticks. I think I could finish this one up as well. This is the shade Bondi, Bondi Bay. This is all I have left. And this is all I've used. So pretty happy but this is a gorgeous bronzer i don't think i would repurchase it just because of the fact that it contains so little product it's actually ridiculous the the milk makeup one contains 28 the abh and chanel one contains 30 this i think contains seven yes seven grams um nude sticks do better because you're not taking that affordable prices someone that is taking affordable prices is i'm so sorry technic this is the bronzing base also a cream <coughs> bronzer i have the shade light uh i said it before i am decluttering my makeup collection i have done primers foundations and concealers and i have done pigments and cream eyeshadows and uh, uh, liquid eyeshadows and if you don't don't like hair i have a cute cute dog and he sheds i shed so if you don't like that click out of this video but please don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> maybe like or dislike the video maybe dislike it if you don't like hair 
it's okay. I can take it. I'm a big gal. Here is the Technic Cream Bronzer. It's, now that I see it like this, it's actually real, really red. Not red, but orange. Uh, we'll declutter that one. Then I just gotta show you. This is my beloved Milk Makeup Bronzer. I swatched out all my cream bronzers and um, I swatched this one out and so many of you thought that I had repurchased it but no I just kind of scraped it a little bit like here on the side you can see that I can take a little bit of product because sometimes I might want to reference it so I just and I'm, I'm proud so I will, <laughs> I will keep it I also have this one from Patrick Ta this is the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo in the shade She's Statsque. Statuesque. Or you could say light because it is in the shade light. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. So here up here you have a cream and then you have a little protector. And then this is the bronzer. I have gotten some hair in my bronze cream bronzers. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't get yours like that, then you're not showing it enough love. I will keep this one. I love cream bronzers. I feel very connected to my cream bronzers. My powder block bronzers, a little bit easier to let go. Not easy, but easier. I have this one from Fenty that a lot of people raves about. This is in the shade In The Sun. I, I don't know, like it's good. I will continue to finish it up, but I am not raving about it as everyone else is. Also, I've had the worst time with, um, what's it called, hard pan. Every time I talk about hard pan, I get comments like, but you can use scotch tape. I know, I can also scratch it off or just throw out the product. Works every time, but I hate hard pan. It's one of my pet peeves when it comes to makeup. I just absolutely hate it, but I have been able to kind of scrape it off a little bit and it works. So I'm just gonna finish it. Finish it. Nicholas, when I said that I had been uh, raised watching Mortal Kombat, was like, no, that was before your time. And I was like, um, I, w w w uh, I grew up with an older brother, like, give me a break. We watched Mortal Kombat and played Mortal Kombat, so fuck you. Nicholas is seven years older than me, so he thinks that he's like above it all. This is the glowish bronzer from Huda Booty. I have the shade medium here as well. Do you see this? You wanna focus? You wanna colla collaborate, co cooperate with me? Do you see this? Hard pan. Hard pan. What is it? It's not looking good, Huda but I will keep it because I love the way it looks on my skin. Hopefully there was something on my brush that I can, so that I can fix it. We have this one from Nabla. This is in the shade Ombra. This is baked jelly and I love it. Need to use a stiffer brush, but beautiful bronzer. This is my Milani Silky. Matt, I don't know about this one anymore. I honestly, I don't know. It's just, I don't know about the shade. Ooh. But it would be nice to have one cooler tone bronzer. I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep it. Am I getting rid of any bronzer today? I don't think I am. I got rid of one, Technic. Oh, and this one. This one I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of this one. This is from Ellie Girl. This is a concealer, but I've been using it as a cream bronzer. So two, I'm getting rid of two, okay? Don't hate me. I'm actually good at panning bronzers. I've panned like four the past year. Maybe a year and a half, but don't tell anyone. We have on the side here, can you see it? No, wait a minute. 
Zoop. Zoop. Here. We have this one. This is from Anastasia and it, this is in the shade Tawny. This is beautiful. It's a little bit deep and a little bit terracotta-ish, but beautiful on the skin. Cannot wear it with, for instance, the Patrick Ta cream because it makes my skin look super muddy. I actually experienced that the other day and it was traumatic. <laughs> but this one, keep. We have this one from Vive, which is Jamie Genevieve's brand. And this is, whoop, they're my fat arm is. I like it, so I'll keep it. I have a bronzer here. This is from Kosos. This is in the shade Light. I haven't used this a whole lot actually because I got this just during the summer and I had a tan and it was way too light for me. But this is kind of what I said that the Makeup Revolution bronzer is that I have at work and it's really beautiful actually. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Oh, I don't think, I will keep it. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is from NARS or as my mother says, Nash. And this is in the shade Valarta. And this is the matte bronzer. It's just beautiful. Reminds me so much of the bomb. Take home the bronze in the shade Oliver that has been discontinued. Rest in peace. I finished up two of those because it's that good. That's the blush. This is the Jouer bronzer and I have it in the shade Sunlight Suntan. I had actually forgot a little bit about this because it was way in the back here, so I haven't really seen it for a while, but I love this bronzer. Um, definitely wanna continue to reach for it way, way more. So I'm gonna keep that. I have way more bronzers than I thought. Okay, this is both from Kaleidos, and I don't know if I need to keep two. I think I need to keep two. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry, but I wanna keep them both. This is the problem when you're a makeup hoarder. This one, I don't know about. This is from Estee Lauder. And I tend to um, focus my brush around here. Sometimes I go a little bit in here, but I don't know about this one. It's, it is beautiful though. It is actually a beautiful bronzer. Let me keep it. Damn, I feel pressured because a lot of you guys have said that I have the best declutters and here I am failing you. Here we have a Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is actually like a face and eyeshadow palette. So here it is. It has a bronzer, a blush, highlight, powder, and eyeshadow. This is not going anywhere, so obviously I'm gonna keep it. Then I'm gonna take some palettes. So I'm just gonna move you. So we're gonna focus on some palettes over here. This one was actually, oh my God, I have one of my favorite palettes down there. Haven't even, I didn't even know that I had it. And um, this is the bronzer and highlighter from Makeup Revolution. I actually got this from a subscriber. This is used, but I know she really liked it and I just never, oh my God, it's beautiful. I never really started using it. Okay, the highlighter, I just know I'm not gonna like. It feels very, or will I? Maybe, it looks pretty. Ooh, the bronzer though. Oh my God, the bronzer feels beautiful. But I don't know if you can see, it pulls very gray on me. So I think I'm gonna get rid of it. As you can see, I have so many products that I'm not even using. So yeah, getting rid of that one. Then we have my Natasha Sculpt and Glow palette. I 
And here's what she looks like. I mainly use the cream and the glow and this one. They are all beautiful, these three, so I'm gonna keep it. And then, last me, Revolution Pro. I don't like this one, as you probably could tell. Like, this is my favorite. I tend to mix these two. I haven't used this in such a long time. I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm, I'm probably gonna use it pretty soon just so I get an idea of it because I can't really remember that much because it's been that long since I used it. So definitely a keep though. So now I'm just gonna continue with blushes because I think I'm done with all of the bronzers. So everything else in here is blush. Okay, so first off the bat, I thought we could focus down here or maybe here. It's so much that I just don't really know where to begin. These ones were sent to me in PR. Uh, this is the Pixie on the Glow Blush, and then uh, they are in three different shades. Before I got sent these, I actually had this shade, which is Ruby, and this has never been used. Unfortunately, some product has gone into here, but I, I think it doesn't really matter. So I think I'm gonna, just gonna send this off because I had it, decluttered it. So this is brand new. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one. Nothing wrong with it, just not really my shade. And then um, I'll send it to one of you guys. And then these two I will keep. I think that they look beautiful on the skin. This one is so stunning. This is the shade Juicy. I don't tend to go for shades like this, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then this is Floor. Flair, I don't know how to say. It's also such a beautiful shade. I have even worn it as like a lip product because I think it's absolutely incredible on the skin. This one I will get rid of. This is from Nip and Fab. This is their liquid blush. I haven't reached for this one once since I did my uh, swatching all of my blushes. So I am just gonna get rid of it because obviously I don't use her. This is an obvious keep for me anyway. This is MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Blush Please. Oh my god, I can't even describe how much I love it. I've used it today, I use it all the time. It's just such a beautiful like putty uh, formula. It's like a cream to powder formula. So it just looks amazing on the skin and this shade is just beautiful. It goes with so many neutral looks, so many other looks as well. <laughs> Colorful looks. That's the word I was looking for. So I'll keep that one. This is my Nabla blush in the shade Lola. Lola. Someone says Lola. Lola. But I don't know who it is. This is beautiful. This is also a baked formula. I love it. It's baked jelly and stunning. Tara Baby Set actually got me into it. So thank you, Tara. We'll link her down below. She's the queen of hauls. So definitely go ahead and check her out. Um, I have these two as well from the MAC Glow Play line. This is groovy which is a little bit more colorful. I kind of feel like you have to really, really get in there because when I got these, I was like, no, these are not the same formula as Blush Please because I had the, that one for so much longer. Uh, but I feel, as you can see, like I've tried to really, really get in there just so I can uh, get down to that kind of formula because for some reason it's not the same on top as it is on the bottom. It's way more stiff and dry on the top versus the bottom. Then another blush that I tend to use quite a lot when I'm just like, I don't want to wear anything but I want to look put together. Then I use this one. This is Blush Please. No. <laughs> Warm Soul from MAC. Stunning, neutral, gorgeous. Great decluttering. This one I can declutter. This is the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush. And this is what it looks like. It's actually, fuck me up. It's gorgeous. 
It's like a corally. No, I'm gonna keep it. I love it. Why am I decluttering right now? I should declutter when I'm in a headspace where I have too much. <laughs> If you are not new around here, you don't know, but I, I I have loved the milk blushes so, so much. I don't love them as much as I used to, but they are definitely a keep for me. So I'll keep them. And the same thing goes for all of my uh, nude sticks blushes. Love these, especially in the matte formula, which is this one. And <gasps> where is Naughty and Spice? Oh, here it is. Oh my God, I was like, where is it? Because it's my favorite. Uh, so I'll keep all of them. Absolutely love it. Gorge. I will get rid of these ones. These are from Daniel Sandler and I just don't like liquid blushes. You have to kind of shake them and then I will show you how liquidy they are. Can you see that? Like gorgeous shade. But they're too liquidy. So it's just like watercolor on your eyes or on your face and I'm not about that. This is from Vive. This is a blush in the shade Pesca. Gorgeous formula, gorgeous shade, gorgeous everything. Such a beautiful like apricotty um, shade. And it has like small, small glitter specks in it. And it's um, not tending to fall on your face, but it's also like real, really creamy. So, oh. Is it this one? Oh my God, I think it smells like peaches. Ooh, keep. Here we have blush and bronzer duo in the shade Orgasm and Laguna. That's embarrassing because I actually got this one, swatched it and everything, and this is in the shade Laguna. No, Orgasm. So I'm gonna declutter this one, keep this one. Oh, I love this one. This is from Dolce Gabbana. And this is a cream blush in the shade Tangerine, I think in a way. Yes, Tangerine. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, keep. I know some people are gonna hate me, but all of these are going. Flower Beauty, MUA, and Berry M. Again, I don't like these. I, I feel like they're way too much work when it is a liquid. I prefer a cream, like in a pouch or something where I can use a brush to pick up the product. Liquids, oh, they're just messy, not my thing. Let me be, okay? Then I also have this one. This is M -M 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 Mitchell's Blurch. These are a cream to powder, to super matte on your skin. I know the shade, don't even come for me when it comes to the shades, to the blushes, because I love fun blushes. However, it's super matte on the skin. I just, I don't know. I love like a glossy kind of, no, I'm not, uh, no, no. If I'm feeling iffy on something, I will get rid of it. And the same thing goes for this one. This is from Milk. This is a oily, greasy mess. It's just oily. And I feel like this would work beautifully if you don't like foundation um, because it wouldn't disrupt your foundation. But since I like foundation, I am not gonna use it. And then I'm also gonna declutter this one. This is a blush stick from Color Pop. In this, oh my God, that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm horrible uh, under pressure. I feel like I am under pressure right now. That's actually really, really pretty. Um, but I will get rid of it. This one right over here is my oldest one. This is the Love Flush Blush Palette from Too Faced. There's no need to argue about this. It's just a keep. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a keep. My Natasha palette, let's just get to her. The Bloom palette. 
oh my god i love it i love it so so much uh, no way i'm getting rid of this one ever it can start to mold and i will keep her this is like my baby she can do no wrong ah can you see that i'm so unsure about the powders that i don't even want to touch them this is from Bare Minerals. This is a uh, putty blush. This is their Bounce and Blur uh, in the shade Mauve Sunrise. I will keep that one. Uh, this is a Milani cream palette that I just got and I used it as you can see. And I'm gonna keep it because I think it's really fun. Something I really, really want to use is these ones. These are from Westman Atelier. I think I got them off Cult Beauty when I ordered something. So I have some blushes here that I really, really want to test out. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it. Then I have two putty blushes from El Elf. Elf. I have the shade Maldives that looks like period blood it's actually real really cool on the skin and then it blends out beautifully and then i have the shade oh, what are you called are you called tahiti i'm just gonna guess that this is tahiti i can't remember but this is what it looks like and that's also a keep uh let's tackle all of these ones so do we have more in the back no great so this is from Too faced this is oh i never use this anymore though so i'm going to get rid of it since i never use it it's just what's the point this is the milani play pink play also really really pretty actually I'm just gonna let it sit there this one I'm going to get rid of it's birds and bees um, shy shy pink not shy like chai latte like shy I think I said <laughs> I'm so shy this is the uh, Kaleidos lo-fi dual blush set in the shade pink rose i mean and that is a keep same thing goes for this peachy one this i've actually used more uh, this is uda's eye elva palette no sh blah, 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 blush i hate how so many people are lying and sucking this brand's ass hole but they do make beautiful blush blushes some products they have are really good uh, I will keep this one and then I only have a few products left so this is from she glam and recently I bought these so please I didn't get them in PR some people said that they were dupes of melt but can you see that they are like putty but still not being putty I haven't even looked to see if I'm in frame I'm just kind of hoping that I am what happened there okay so that one the first one was in the shade rose before bros oh my god that's so disgusting and then this shade is uh-huh honey i'll keep both they're fairly new and i really want to test them out last one is this one from makeup geek the bronzer is not my shade, the, the highlight is not my shade, and this shade I have already. So I'm going to get rid of that one, and this one I will keep. So let me see how I did. I'm just going to start putting everything back as well. My camera died, so I couldn't like organize it with you guys, but I still feel, let me see if I can zoom you guys out a little bit, because I feel like it kind of looks pretty neat. It looks okay. Let's just not say that it looks incredible, but I have some uh, blushes here and then bronzers over here, palettes and bigger, little bronzers Chanel and you know a little bit of that and um, I don't I haven't counted how many I kept but I wanted to see how many I decluttered so 
two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. And I think that's all the blushes. And then for bronzers, we didn't do as well. No, 15. Here was another blush. And then two palettes. So one blush and bron and this is a bronzer palette. And then two. Two whole bronzers. Like now that I think about it, I like, could probably see myself get rid of this one, but I just don't feel ready to let it go, so I don't want to. But you know what? That was all for me today. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.